All right, so I have a little problem with the video for today. I crashed my spaceship here on Earth and I can't get back on the Crater Galaxy space station, so... What do I do now? Or wait a second, I possess the power of Thor! So maybe... Just maybe... I can use the Bifrost. Let's try that. So can you take me back? Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ines Alea and welcome to the CraterGalaxy.com space station. Here in space we are experimenting with intergalactic filmmaking skills and visual effects. If you are interested in our upcoming videos be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. Alright, so it's been a while again, but I've suffered a lot in the last week actually. I had a big fever, some inflammations in my throat, and it was probably because I'm not used to the space air here. But anyway, it was one of the worst weeks in my life, but finally I'm back and hopefully we can get on a roll now. Alright, so the first things first, here is what you need in order to create the Bifrost teleportation effect in Adobe After Effects. I got a clip where I act like I'm beamed up and then a clean plate of that same location. And I also have a dust wave from Action VFX and it's actually free so I'll put a link in the description below so you can download that as well. Before we get started on this tutorial, let me quickly introduce you to today's video sponsor Monday.com. Monday.com is a team management tool that aims to make every user feel empowered and part of something bigger than their own individual tasks. And as a result to boost collective productivity and transparency. Monday.com is a centralized platform for teams to manage every detail of their work from high-level roadmap planning to specifics of day-to-day -day tasks while building a culture of transparency. The users actually have to love their tools and that's the goal of Monday.com. If you'd like to find out more about Monday.com definitely check out the link in the description below and for the next 60 days you'll get 10% off if you use the coupon code INEAS or if you use the original link I have attached in the description below. Alright so back to the Bifrost teleportation tutorial. First I drag in the dust wave footage into a new composition. I want to delete the background here. Duplicate the layer and add a tint effect. Then add a levels effect and add more white. We are going to be using this layer as a luma mat for the actual smoke, so the more white you see, the more smoke you'll see. Set the smoke layer to a luma mat and mask out the bottom part so you don't see that hard cut line. Also feather it a bit and then next I'm going to import my acting footage. Go to the place where you act like you're beamed up and you can set a marker to make it yourself a little bit easier. Then bring in the clean plate and then make an ellipse tool, add a circle and mask around where I was, make sure to include the shadows and feather the mask a bit so we cover the area where I was. Then fade this layer in so it looks like I'm vanishing. Next we are going to add in some smoke elements and add the curves effect, try to match it to your preferences. I'm going to add a time remapping effect to make the impact come faster but you can do it however you like. You can duplicate the smoke offset a little bit and scale it up so it fills the screen a little bit more. Next we are going to create a new composition and add a solid layer with fractal noise effect applied to it. Go into the transform settings of the fractal noise and uncheck uniform scaling. Lower the width and increase the height so you get something looking like this. Next we're going to offset the offset turbulence, create a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline and then at the end change the value quite a lot so it looks like it's going at the speed of light. You can also alt click on the evolution stopwatch and write a simple expression like time times 50 to add a little bit of randomization in there. Next go back to your original composition and import that fractal noise layer. We can jump into this composition and play with the brightness to fade it out at a specific time and next I'm going to add a CC cylinder effect to this layer. Go into the shading tab and increase the ambient light to 100. Then using the position and rotation values put your cylinder into position. We can also add a roughen edges effect to roughen up a little bit the edges of the cylinder and play around with the settings until you're satisfied. This isn't a must, I just like a little bit softer on the edges. Next we can add a colorama effect and in the output cycle set the preset to fire. 
Then I'm going to use a hue and saturation effect, so you shift the hues a little bit and yeah, choose a color that you like. You can even add a curves effect to add a little bit more contrast or make it darker and just play around until you're satisfied with the complete look. Then choose a blending mode, um, I'm going for screen. Then we want to add a linear wipe effect to this layer so we can fade it in from the top to the bottom like an actual beam. I'm also going to add a subtle fast blur here because I don't really like how it is looking so sharp. I'm going to set this to a very low value and then add a solid composite effect and change it to black. Now we're going to add a perfect glow preset which you can find at our website, it's a freebie. Uh, at CraterGalaxy.com. To be honest, this effect would work best in an evening shot or just a darker shot in general. You can also use an adjustment layer just to um, darken your background a little bit. And then you can use another adjustment layer on top and mask out like the beam, feather it quite a bit and add a curves effect to increase the brightness so it looks like there is actually yeah, light being cast around. Of course, a practical light would actually work obviously better and that's how they did in the actual movie so a big kind of soft box from the top that just went on when the beam was there uh, that's nice for the shadows and stuff but yeah of course we don't have that kind of budget and time so this is how we do it and then of course you have to fade in the light of the adjustment layer so where the beam comes in and then lastly uh, to really sell this effect you should add some kind of screen shake effect when the beam hits the ground I used one of our shake presets that comes with the epic transition spec, but of course feel free to use your own techniques. One more thing that I did after that is adding the Bifrost sign on the floor. So I have this image which I found online and I'm sure you will find it as well if you search for it, but I'm not allowed to share it. So just drag it into a new composition and I'm going for effect, keying and extract. I'm going to extract the white colors here. Duplicate this layer and apply a find edges effect to it. Then duplicate the extract effect and place it right after the find edges effect. Now we only see the edges of the sign available. Add a fill effect to choose some lava like looking color. And then I'm going to add a solid composite effect again, choose a black color again. Next I'm going to add a new solid layer in this composition and apply a fractal noise effect to it. Add a little bit more contrast and again animate the evolution cycle and then I'm going to the layer below and choose Luma Matte. That way the whites will be visible and the blacks won't be visible of the fractal noise in our sign. So it looks a little bit more like this and I like a lava looking thing. Then bring this layer into the final composition. I made this layer a 3D layer so it's easier to rotate into position. And then make sure that this layer only shows when the beam is hitting the floor. We can set it to an additive blending mode and then add a little bit glow as well to it with the perfect glow preset and then finish it off. Alright so that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did give this video a like also be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when we upload new videos and also check out our website, we have a bunch of awesome stuff to offer for any kind of digital creative and if you buy something from our website it helps to support this channel. Hope to see you in the next one, take care and goodbye.